Philippine author Francisco Sionil Jose has published novels for 48 years. Each of his writings assist him in the many achievements and awards he has obtained over the years. As a novelist, Jose believed he should incorporate a significant message throughout his writings to discover his authenticity. In Jose's novels, he touches on hardships of foreigners, political issues, and the sacrifices that are made for a better life. Francisco Sionil Jose was born on December 3, 1924 in Rosales, Philippines. Growing up, Jose and his mother had a love for books. Whenever he would think about the poverty he was in, Jose would resort to books as an escape from his reality and discuss them with his mother. After reading countless of books in grade school, Jose began to illustrate stories of his own. Throughout his teenage years, Jose's interest in writing flourished. He wrote down his views of injustices, poverty, and suffering as a way to resolve his thoughts. Once his mother died, Jose has been inspired by her love of books and continued writing ever since as a way to commemorate her. He enrolled at University of Santo Tomas in 1945 to study liberal arts. After a year, Jose dropped out and dove deep into writing and journalism. In 1946 to 1948, he began literary and journalistic publications. Jose started a publication house called the Philippine Branch of Penn, which is an international organization for writers. After that, Jose realized his passion for writing and started his own illustrations. He won many awards for his writings, like The Pretender, which is one of his famous novels. Jose initially wanted to write stories of the harsh reality that foreigners had to go through, although he realized that he cannot simply tell the story for people to understand. He needs to deliver a significant message that no one can forget. Jose wanted to spread the message of what a foreigner's life journey is about. He wrote stories about real-life issues that are based on hardships of his life. Time and time again, Jose's writings were not only liked by Filipinos, but by many people around the world. Jose's most famous novel, Three Filipino Women, was published in 1981. Within this novel contains three short stories revolved around Eddie and Narita, Ronaldo and Ermi, and Jose and Madu. The first story is called Cadena de Amor. It starts off with Eddie and Narita as best friends. They have done everything together and Eddie wishes to be more than just friends with Narita. But when Narita's dad loses his job, her father has no choice but to arrange his daughter to marriage. Throughout her journey, she undergoes sacrifices and struggles that will eventually lead to her success. Obsession is the second short story, and it is about a man named Ronaldo who meets a prostitute named Ermi. From the duration of the story, Ronaldo starts to fall in love with Ermi and wants to get her out of the sex trading business and pursue a better life for her. Although, Ermi is given an ultimatum to choose between the love of her life or the American dream. The last short story, Platinum, revolves around a boy named Jose who lives in poverty and his friend Malu who is born from a wealthy family. Both of them are polar opposites from each other and cannot see eye to eye on political situations. Malu discovers that poverty is increasing and she decides to become a faith healer which gives hope to people in poverty. Throughout this, she provides optimism for people who are living in poverty and speaks out to the Philippine government to change their corrupted ways for the future. During Malu's journey, she marries Jose, although she slowly starts to forget about the poverty problem. She then is willing to leave and sacrifice her love to focus on the poor people who are suffering. The significance of the title of the three Filipino women is that it represents the strength and hardships of three women that are trying to find their way out of the poverty in the Philippines. The 
external situations of the individual affect the person so much that they have to make self-sacrifice in order to have a better outcome in life. These women face life-changing decisions, heartbreak, and self-sacrifice. Jose wants to talk about the struggles of poverty, personal hardships, and love to represent that there is light at the end of the tunnel. Sio Neil Jose is currently living in the Philippines teaching students about history, culture, and writing. Till now, he is still a productive writer and continues to have a persistent voice against social injustice and national amnesia. Today, his novels are translated into various languages for people all around the world to enjoy. He is delighted that people around the world can bask in the wonders of his story. Every day, Jose aspires that his writings will help solve problems and connect to his readers like the books did for him.